What's going on guys? Really excited to be back here today because I got myself another lever gun, the Henry Long Ranger Express. Alright guys, so here we are once again at Target Shooting Solutions. Big shout out to them for letting me use the range for this video. If you're ever in the Avondale, Pennsylvania area, be sure to check them out. Great facility. All right guys, so here it is, the new Henry Long Ranger Express, model for 2022. You're probably thinking to yourself, Steve, what in the hell do you got going on on the end of this barrel? Well, since a lot of the new Henrys are coming out threaded barrels, you know, you can put any sort of muzzle device on that you would like. So that's what we're gonna do today, put some muzzle devices on. It is chambered in 223556, so a good hunting round. It does not come with any sights on the barrel. So it is a free floated barrel, no sights though, but it comes with a pick rail already installed. So because of that, they also give you a extended hammer pull. So if you are running a large scope, if you're hunting, then sometimes the large scope's coming out the back, you can't get your thumb in there to pull the hammer back if you've already had a round chamber. So this just sticks off whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it's, it's reversible. That just makes it easy to hit it from the side and pull the hammer back and have your hand be out of the way. It is a detachable five round box magazine. So also cool. You don't have to worry about a, a feed tube or a side gate, which again, lever guns known for that. But what's nice is having a detachable magazine, you can have a, a few of these loaded up in your pocket or whatever out hunting. So it's just an easy, easy, quick change to get you more ammo in. What I think would be cool though, and it's not gonna be possible I'm sure, is because of it is a lever gun, when you do actuate the lever, if you wanted to get an extended mag to have maybe hold 10, 10 or more, without it having a curve, it's gonna be in the way of the lever. But it would be cool if somebody could figure out how to get an extended mag in this thing to get you more than five. So the wood is laminate, so weather resistant, so that is great if you're gonna do outdoor stuff with it and hunt and be out in the elements, that's, that's great. What I think would be perfect for this and I don't know if they're gonna do it, but to offer this same gun in the all weather finish uh, to pair up with the more weather resistant laminate wood because while the black is cool and the black looks really nice, that all weather finish is, is great. I love the all weather finish. And of course, you know me, I don't have a big fancy scope, but I am gonna rock a red dot on this just to give it that little bit of a tactical cowboy feel. This is more of a cowboy gun, but you know, you gotta keep it tactical. You gotta keep the red dot on. Let's take some shots and, and see how she does. All right guys, this is gonna be first shots. So let's do it. But enough with uh, the loud shooting, let's get to the muzzle device and let's talk about it. So what is on here and how it comes from the factory. So factory, this is coming with, my particular version has come with a 5 8 by 24 thread pitch. So slightly odd, right? You're thinking, why would it be 5 8 by 24? Standard, you know, AR, thread pitch is gonna be half by 28. Uh, and so I asked them about that and I said, you know, what's you know, why is it 5 8 by 24? Uh, I was told that uh, the initial run of these, there was a few hundred that were made in 5 8 by 24, but post that run, they are being manufactured in the standard half by 28. So the barrel here is a little longer because what I have is my 5 8 by 24 down to half by 28 thread adapter, which you see me use in my Henry Model X video. I'll link that above, check that out. So that was the only way I could get a muzzle device on this for a can. So this is what we're using. This is an AAC specific muzzle brake that pairs with the AAC 556 SD can. So light enough indoors to be hearing safe. I'll give it a try, give it one crack and see what it sounds like. But real quick, I do want to mention the butt pad on this. It's different than the butt pads I'm used to with my other Henry's. So my Henry 4570, you know, all weather, and my X model in 38 Special, they have a, 
like a thicker rubber butt pad. Um, you're probably thinking, well, I mean, 4570, you'd want a thicker butt pad, but it's not really the thickness that I'm talking about. I mean, this is a, a, a nice uh, cushion here on the end. The material that's used here, you know, which feels like a leather, but it almost feels like a, a car leather seat. So it's a little bit of a, it's not sticky. It's not like a sticky rubber or like a rubber butt pad. It's, it has like a, a, a slickness to it. And the padding in there feels like you'd be sitting on like a seat. Um, so it's not really firm. It is, it does have some play. It's soft, which is fine, but I, I don't like, I don't like it in general overall. And I'll tell you why, because when I'm shooting the lever gun, I like to have that thing, you know, kind of welded into my shoulder. I don't typically drop the gun to work the lever and then bring it back into my shoulder. I keep it into my shoulder tight and I'm working it like this. The problem with this being a little slick is that it wants to slide around my shoulder. And you probably saw that happen in the last round. I'm trying to work the lever and as I'm doing it, if I'm getting a little hung up, it's, it's wanting to slide around. Um, so one note I think for them is uh, consider maybe putting the other style butt pad on. Especially if you're going to be out hunting in this in weather, you're going to want this to be a little, a little more sticky, so to speak, into your garments and whatever you're wearing so that it's not really sliding around. Food for thought. Not a deal breaker. It's still very nice. Uh, just something that I noticed in just now shooting this. So let's run this. No ears and see. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I want to slide down. Okay, so it's loud enough. I would say it's probably borderline not hearing safe. It's a, there's a crack. It's, you know, for this particular can, it's AAC can, it's a good can. Outside, it'll probably be much more enjoyable to shoot without ears on, but being inside with the echo and reverberation off the wall, uh, it's sounding louder. So outside, not sure, but it is inside borderline hearing safe. And you can see there, I was trying to mess around with how I was shouldering it um, with this butt pad to see if I could drop it down, it would make it easier, or leave it into my shoulder tight and try to work it. And I felt like, and you, could, you saw just there, I was having a little bit of trouble a few times manipulating the, the lever while it was in my shoulder because I, I felt like I was focusing a lot on keeping it in than actuating the lever so it wouldn't slip and it was causing me to hang up a little bit and not, and not running the lever properly. So again, that, that could just be me and just really concentrating on that. But you saw earlier on when I was shooting, I really didn't have a tr uh, any problem running the lever. So it probably was just a combination of those things. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this thing one more time, see if I can run it as quick as I can, given everything we've talked about. Overall though, I really like the rifle. Henry always puts out a great quality product. Um, this is no different than anything else you're probably used to. And if you haven't owned a Henry before and you're looking for something maybe, something familiar like the 5.56, you already have a lot of ammo, and this is something you could be used, you know, for a hunting gun, I would say, I would say just give it a try. I don't know why I got hung up there. It feels smooth though, generally. All right guys, so that's it. Quick rundown of the new Henry. Final thoughts is, you know, just like any other Henry, I enjoyed shooting it. Great quality build. You know, there were some things we talked about earlier on, some things I noticed while shooting it for the first time here today that, you know, could be a good upgrade or changes to the gun down the line. I definitely think an all-weather version of the gun is uh, a perfect choice for anybody that wants to go out there and do any hunting with it. You just like the, the confidence having the all-weather stainless finish just to make sure, you know, if you got this thing out and pouring down rain, you know, you're not going to catch any rust spots or anything like that. So all-weathers are always a good addition to a lineup. 
in these sort of rifles. And then again, having that thread pitch at half by 28 to not have to mess with adapters. And the butt pad I felt like could use a little work. It's a butt pad, it works, it feels nice. Um, I just think it's a little, a little too slick for me and how I like to run a lever gun. Other than those things, overall, it's great. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, SteveMP5 on Instagram. See you next time.